Let's see how to configure load cases in Strublim SIP 3D. To do this, in the project menu, we select the general data option. At the bottom of the window, in the load section, we press additional load cases. First of all, we indicate all the use categories related to our project by using the edit button and activating the necessary categories such as, for example, domestic and household, offices or warehouses. In this section, only the categories included in the codes that were previously selected in the general data window will appear. For analysis purposes in Strubium Site 3D, a use category is a group of live load cases that are combined with the other load cases defined in the project using the same action combination coefficients. Next, we define the project's loads. In the first column, we see both the automatic loads considered by the program and the structure's self-weight loads. If we have previously activated the With Dynamic Earthquake Loading option in the General Data window, we will also find automatic earthquake loads in the additional load cases window that have been generated from the selected codes. In the second column, we add the additional load cases for the type of load that requires them. We can even add a live load for each of the defined use categories. To do this, we select the Edit button on the right, click on New Additional Load Case and enter a reference and a description. Optionally, if we activate the With Different Load Dispositions checkbox, available for each of the added load cases, we can define different load states grouped in the same load case. The load dispositions can be compatible, incompatible or simultaneous. If we add several additional load cases, the program displays a combination chart between different load cases where we determine their combinable or not combinable condition. The Show the Combination option allows the obtained combinations to be listed after modifying the chart. We shall avoid indiscriminately increasing the number of combinable load dispositions or load cases to avoid generating an excessive number of automatic combinations. When adding additional load cases for horizontal loads, such as wind or earthquakes, we can also consider second-order effects by activating the corresponding checkbox and estimating a value to multiply displacements. Finally, in the General Data window, we click Accept to incorporate the load case definition changes into our project.